Analytics is really important in understanding the thermodynamics of any reaction and this actually branches into various areas in chemistry which is for example enzyme chemistry where we have an enzyme in here interacting with a substrate or more than one substrate and what happens is that at equilibrium they actually form a transition state inside the pocket which is I would say the active site of the enzyme and this actually leads into the formation of new products where our enzyme integrity is maintained but we form either new bonds where we form a cone <laughs> in this case or we form another bond in specific orientation or sometimes we actually break bonds to make more molecules as products now this actually leads to the idea of reaction coordinate diagram here where we have the reaction coordinates on the x axis and um, on the other side we have the energy on the y axis and this is quite important in understanding more of the th thermodynamics connection and also the kinetics of a reaction so in here we have our reactant reacting which is triangle and circle and what happens is at first they have a specific energy but then when you subject this to high amount of energy the kinetic energy increases will lead to more collisions and more collisions leads to the right orientation which is the right one required for we to get to the right bond breaking and right bond formation and that particular point is where we have this particular triangle actually forming a bond with the circle which is more of the partial bond formation right there and that is actually known as the transition state now this transition state can actually be enhanced by other mediums either by adding enzymes which we know are biological catalysts that actually creates alternative pathways either in this format or more than one pathways to arrive at our product in here which is a cone now this is actually important because if you create the right orientation that we have a specific product that is favorable over other types of products if you analyze it using a mass spectrometer now moving in detail in this particular video there is another part that we need to be aware of in here which is the energy difference in here now first off the energy between the transition state and the reactant moving from left to right is actually called the activation energy i'll just put f right there and the activation energy which is e a f is actually in the forward direction and that actually leads to the right product that is favorable in this particular reaction between triangle and circle while on the other hand we have a case where it's not so favorable in the forward direction now this is actually described as eAr which represents the activation energy of the reverse reaction and now what happens here is that the product actually reforms our reactants either due to various external factors like through the literature layers principle in grade 12 they dived more into those particular aspects and we'll talk more about that later down the line so in this particular path where we have our reactant as we talked about before which is triangle and circle actually going or staying at equilibrium to form our cone there is i would say i'll just put an enzyme that helps in creating other pathways to increase the rate of a reaction thereby forcing the reaction to go sometimes if the enzyme is present or absent to go in 
the reverse way where we go from right to left where it's more favorable while on the other side we have a enzyme that will drive the reaction in the forward way which is from left to right now let's add more into this particular diagram this diagram also depends on a particular energy difference between the reactant and the product this is expressed as delta h r x n now delta h r x n is expressed as the enthalpy change of the reaction and this can be determined by subtracting the activation energy of the reverse reaction from that of the forward reaction so as a result of that we get values that are either positive values where for a positive value we have the activation energy of the forward reaction to be more than that of the reverse reaction and this leads to an endothermic process where we require energy for our reaction to move from left to right while on the other hand we have a case where the forward reaction in terms of the activation energy is less than the activation energy of the reverse reaction and uh, we have a negative value for our change in enthalpy which is an exothermic reaction so in this case energy is released when this reaction is going on and that's about it for this particular video our next video we will focus more on how does this influence various interesting equations like the Arrhenius equation which depends on the activation energy that we talked about on this video and also temperature which we didn't actually talk about on this video but you know it kind of relates a little bit with the kinetic energy giving us the right orientation and the right collisions and the right amount of energy at enthalpy and also entropy in there so all the same thanks for following me through this trade i appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts and also whether you understand this concept or you want more in-depth discussion about this and many more all the same stay smart and believe in yourself